Hello, it's Lionel the friend here to show you how to edit a picture or an object and make it look nice and go well together. So, nice in my opinion, of course, at least. So what you want to do is open Google Chrome. Um, I already have saved every image kind of thing. So you want to go to image.google.com and the object I'm going to use is anime characters. Um, anime characters is basically Japanese drawings, animated drawings, uh, but they're not animated in images, Google Images and the one I'm going to choose. So I took, I chose this one. And one thing you want to do when uh, choosing an image, uh, for example, anime characters, and let's anime characters, what you want to do is, um, if you want it to be in the highest quality possible, you go on, on tools, well, I don't know how it's called in English, uh, then on size. Then take the biggest image, take biggest option, then your images will be very big. So I choose this one, uh, the links will be in description if you want to use the same, same images as me. So what you want to do is save as, uh, oh, mine is in French, don't worry, uh, it's basically easy. Uh, worst case scenario, I can do it again with the language change if it's needed. Then I choose because I want to go with the love effect. I I took the this red background that I that I quite like. So I'm gonna save as so it's this this size the size of this image is as big as this one. Uh, just, yeah, it is. So, it saves, and I save it on this desktop for easy, for it to be easy to reach. But you can save it wherever you, you wish, wherever you would like to save it. So, if you haven't downloaded GIMP, now is the moment to do it. But, otherwise, open it, and then it's going to be easy. Uh, if you wish to, you don't know how to install GIMP, I can help you. You just need to ask me and I will do it. I'll do a video, a tutorial to show you how to do it. So, what you need to do is um, drag your anime characters or objects, we'll call it object, so like, Here's the um, the image, so we're gonna call it uh, object. If I can, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, well, just like that. I don't know if we can do it. Oh, here it is. So you triple click, or I don't know how many times on the layer. Uh, okay. So this is a layer. This, this, this. This is a layer. So you triple or double, double click on it. You're gonna call it object. I'm I'm gonna call it object. You don't need to do that. I'll just do that. So then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the background, put it on here. <gasps> Look, now you can't see object anymore. And we're gonna reset this red background to red background. Uh, triple click or I don't know how many clicks probably two clicks we're gonna call it red background background <coughs> red background okay go okay so you don't need to do the renaming I'm just doing it to make it easier to explain um, so in other words so here we are, we, we can't see object anymore, and it doesn't matter, 
because we can always go and see object. Look, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do red background, go behind object, and so that we can see uh, red background. So you click on red object and put it behind red background and you won't see object. Then you click red background, make it make it uh, go behind object, you click this arrow and that's how I'm doing it. You probably already saw it but if you haven't if you haven't seen it well I'm explaining. So now what we want to do is we want to make the the white kind of fade away and so that we can see the um, we can see object so we want to make the red background fade a bit so that we can see object so the way we do that is we click on red background on, and we go we right click red background and go down all the way to add layer mask add layer mask then you click it then you go to you choose the the second option black for transparency and you you click add and now you don't know where where the red background is it just disappeared like if we had clicked arrow move the down arrow but we didn't do that and as you can see in the layer it's still there red background still there but with a black rectangle next to it there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we are going to uh, take the blend tool uh, yes blend tool it's that gray square that's on the side really gray left side gray and on right white side white and it does a fading effect so we're gonna take that that um, tool we click on it and then what we want to do is we're gonna play around a bit with that and so take anywhere in the image on the object image and we're gonna just click do here and let go of the click. Hey, look, look on the right side. We can see like the, the black stars, but we can't see the anime characters. Anime characters are the black shadows. So like, how, what, what just happened? So you play again to understand. Then didn't you you see that down here it just open up a blue here so you wonder what's happening and, and so you you just play around and, and then you're like what you can't see the anime character's head but you can more or less see them what's happening then you can see the anime characters and so that's how you need to do you need to play around you play around a bit more and you, you do it how how you want it to be and so at some point you might discover that if you do like a small amount it's gonna be the color is gonna be intense of red background is gonna be intense but uh, on a on a small kind of effect so if you do a small in the direction so Depending on the di direction, it will have a different effect. So I did diagonal left down. Now I'm going to do diagonal right down. And then it's going to change. So you, you play around a bit. And then at some point, you will have the effect that you want to have. So what I want to do is... Take uh, the black shadows 
and have two times um, the shadow like that. So I want to have on both sides this red and put it here so that he, it kind of makes like a heart kind of shape or so that they are surrounded by red but they're on a blue background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on red background right click it and do dup, dup, duplicate layer and then do you see so the the duplicate is on the red background so we're gonna call it duplicate because because we can and uh, so sorry about the weirdness of the, the video kind of cut so because I'm recording with my phone so just to have the best quality ever and uh, so yes better than screenshot and a lot of things so I've named my red background duplicate duplicate <laughs> yeah you call that so the thing is that duplicate is on red background so the red background goes on the other side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on flip tool this one yeah yeah so you right left click it on it and then you just drag click and drag and then you have some kind of yeah it's, it just moved you see but one thing is that it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do so now what I need because the um, the image is not how I want it exactly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the duplicate and just drag it wait just gonna gonna delete duplicate and just drag another uh, the other the picture and do the switch now so do the switch from the beginning so so we have so we have uh, whatever we're gonna call it double double yeah double instead of the duplicate we're gonna call it double uh, triple click it or oh, I don't know how many times double and we've got it it's called name uh, its name is double so now we're gonna flip the image uh, as it's a whole and we're gonna flip uh, flip flip with this guy and just drag on the other side and then we're gonna go on double, click double, right click double, and go to add layer mask. And we're gonna choose the option black full transparency. Uh, second one again. And then we're gonna say add. And then it disappears again. So we're going to go and get blend tool, that one, the gray on the left and white on fading to the white. And we're going to click it and just play around. Uh, that's not what we want. So we try another version. We go up here and see, hey, that's not exactly what we want. We so we just play around until we find our dream. And you, you might gonna play a lot just to have it perfect as you like it. So you just keep, 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 you just keep playing. 
So here we we have we we keep playing until we find the perfect angle, and maybe we're gonna find a dream and and it's gonna go. It's gonna be good. Uh, hey, wait. Maybe that's good, but. Not totally sure, because this kind of it's annoying me, you know. So one thing I might want to do is just keep playing, keep playing. Wait, so if I do this, I I'll try this version. So. Progressively change. So some people might just like it like that, but I'm I'm crazy and I don't like it. So just keep changing until you have what you had in mind. So this looks kind of good in my opinion but I still have this thing that I think it's kind of weird just having like you know blue space so I'll go and get another I drag on the picture again and then is again in the middle of everything so we're gonna rename it and call it double two double two Double two, yeah. And then double two is kind of a mixture, so we're gonna have some fun a bit. So we're gonna right click it, go down to to add layer mask, black full transparency option, add, and so and so we're gonna just play around until we have what we want. Everything. So then we have a problem. So so look at this. So it doesn't have the same the good how we want it exactly. So what we're gonna do is so that the the like red background and double have um, the most power. So like they go on top of double two. So what you we're gonna do is click on double two and bring bring it behind red background and double. And go background. And double two is behind both of them. So now we can keep playing around. But we've so we click double two and we keep so so we keep playing around with with double two behind behind the um, behind double and red background. So we keep playing around until we have something decent. Hey, this looks quite nice, but I'm still not sure. Maybe this this looks good. Uh, I think this this might be this might be the best option. Hey, I think we've got it. This this my friends is what we came for. I I could do it even better, but I think this is good for first. Well, first, don't you agree? Yeah, well, if you don't agree, well, you can do it better. Uh, I think this is good for the first video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. So if you zoom it. So that's it. So, yeah, I hope...
was fun and enjoy you enjoyed this video uh, I might make some more in the future so if you want some more in the future make sure to tell me and I will make them so see you next time